Do I need to know coding to get a great cloud job? This is one of the most common question. Hello guys and girls, Raj here, back with another video. I am an enterprise solutions architect working at AWS. In this video, we are going to take a look at different cloud positions and how much coding do you need to know to get those positions. All right, guys and girls. Uh, so let's start by looking at different kinds of coder, right? Because not all coder is same. Uh, so first category is a hardcore coder. Uh, so their primary responsibility is to deliver code. And they are at least expert in uh, one language. And uh, most interaction, their interactions are with a product owner or product manager. Uh, algorithms are included in the interview. And then some example of hardcore coder is uh, such as AWS service teams who code the service, the UI, uh, the product developers in your traditional companies, all that stuff. So second category is optional coder. Uh, so they code to augment or enhance their primary responsibility. Uh, they're not expert, but they're well acquainted with at least one language or one kind of scripting language. Uh, algorithms are not included in the interview. And some of these people used to be hardcore coder, but they became optional coder. Uh, so some examples would be uh, solutions architects, uh, DevOps admins, uh, security engineer. Last category is the hello world uh, kind of coder. <laughs> they don't need to code for primary responsibility. I mean, they don't even have to uh, code to enhance or augment their primary responsibility. Uh, they learn basic codes at times for curiosity, uh, algorithms not included in their interview. Uh, some examples are managers, uh, security leads, uh, testers. Now let's take a look at uh, coding in AWS. Uh, so coding uh, is a very, very broad category these days. Uh, like 10 years back, coding meant like, yeah, you go uh, code out in some Java code or C++, C, COBOL, all that stuff. Uh, but now coding in cloud uh, is much different because there are a lot of different kinds of coding there. Uh, so let's take a look at some of these categories. Uh, so first is the traditional code to create uh, application. Uh, so this is very similar to the hardcore coding that we talked about. Uh, however, there are other categories such as infrastructure as code. Uh, so you have CloudFormation uh, and CDK or Cloud Development Kit in AWS. Uh, where you can code to spin up infrastructure, right? So they're not like your traditional uh, coding to create application. However, they, they are pretty useful, CloudFormation CDK. Uh, next is DevOps and sysadmin uh, related coding. So pipeline scripts, so DevOps pipeline accepts uh, some scripts like Jenkins files, some other files. Uh, so those are kind of codes. And then we have IAM policy. Uh, so this is a big category as well. Uh, like not only you can restrict access uh, to certain even individuals or groups, you can also use IAM uh, to control which service can call what service uh, and then do crazy stuff like wildcard validation, uh, filtering, all that stuff. Uh, next is your bash scripts. Uh, so sysadmins use this a lot. Uh, to start server, shut down server, monitor certain processes, start process, etc. And last but not the least, uh, governance lambdas. So governance lambdas mean uh, event-driven lambdas uh, that wake up after you spin up infrastructure and then checks if everything is compliant. And then if everything is good, then it, it leaves it alone. Uh, but maybe if something is missing, it shuts the resource down or sends an email notification, all that stuff. So I, I kept this separate than the traditional coding to create an app uh, because the amount of coding you need to do for governance lambdas are much, much lightweight than your traditional app. So before we take a look at uh, different job roles and how much coding you need and what you need, uh, if you can learn one language, uh, learn Python. So why Python? Uh, because it's easy to learn uh, without any programming background. So I have friends who are product owner, product manager, uh, people manager, senior manager. 
uh, who are learning Python. You guys and girls know who you are. <laughs> and they are able to pick it up. They are actually able to pick it up and understand the concepts pretty easily because it's an easy language uh, to learn. Uh, so some of you might be saying, hey, Raj, but how about Go, Node.js? They are all new, lightweight language. That's true. However, Python has more widespread usage compared to Go, Node.js. For example, you can code beautiful lambdas using Python uh, to work as the backend of the APIs. You can also code lambdas for event processing very easily using Python. Uh, you have extensive use of Python in machine learning. Uh, it's one of the best language to, if not the best, uh, to code machine learning. If you talk to your data scientist friends, uh, they will tell you. Third is scripting. You can use Python as a scripting language. And you can also use Python uh, for web framework. There's Flask and a couple of other frameworks that you can use for to use Python as a, a front end. And last but not the least is uh, there are lots of code snippet best practices available. So if you are not a hardcore coder, uh, chances are you, you are coding because you want to uh, do a proof of concept, a demo, uh, basically enhance your job functionality. So you don't want to spend too much time on uh, like writing your own code, go debugging, all that stuff. Uh, so good thing about Python is it has been around for quite some time and there are lots of code snippets and best practices available. Uh, so you can really copy paste and reuse those uh, rather than reinventing the wheel. All right, now let's take a look at some cloud jobs which does not require traditional coding. Also, keep in mind that these jobs has a, a career progress path. Uh, so this is, this is not like a job which doesn't require coding, but then the salary is low and you cannot really progress in your career. Uh, so all these jobs are viable options. So the first job is a DevOps engineer. Uh, so their primary responsibilities are uh, create, maintain DevOps pipeline. They come up and implement deployment strategy such as blue, green, canary. And they're very comfortable with uh, the concepts like role, keys, AMI rehydration, uh, because chances are they will be doing this for their team. Uh, coding knowledge required, traditional coding not required. A must know infrastructure as code, such as CloudFormation is a must. A must know scripts for DevOps tool, for example, Jenkins pipeline file, a bash shell, uh, in some cases, shape recipes, Ansible, etc. So I wanted to validate what I am showing you guys and girls, right? So I'm actually gonna show you the job from the AWS site uh, so that you guys and girls know that that is the reality. Okay, I'm gonna search for AWS carriers. Okay, scroll down, click search for your career. Okay, how about DevOps engineer? Okay, any location is fine. How about this Seattle one? Okay, so you can see uh, basic qualifications. Uh, you need uh, release engineering or DevOps, basically uh, the pipeline and all that stuff. Uh, continuous integration, deployment three years experiencing developing automated tools in Python, Java, and shell scripting. Uh, so basically, as you can see, if you know Python, that will boost you a lot, but it's okay if you know shell scripting and this continuous integration, continuous deployment stuff, basically cloud formation, pipeline scripts, uh, you should be good as well. Okay, I'm gonna go back to my slides. If you are liking this video, please click that like button. Smash it if you are into that kind of stuff. And please click subscribe. Your like, subscribe, and comments energize me to make more videos. All right, back to the content. Okay, so the next uh, job is governance or security engineer. Their primary responsibilities are uh, evaluate cloud services for companies, GovSec compliance. Uh, so basically, if your company, let's say, wants to use DynamoDB or recognition or something. Uh, so your job will be to uh, check if that service uh, complies with all the governance and security policies for your company. Uh, you will create remediation scripts, like in case someone spins up something that they're not supposed to do. Uh, so these are basically lambdas, which will wake up from CloudWatch events and then go uh, do the needful. 
Uh, you should be able to provision accounts, base roles, uh, key materials. So coding knowledge, uh, traditional coding, like I said, basic Python will be handy for writing lambdas. Must know IAM roles, policies, STS, assume roles, and must know uh, service related scripts. So this is ties to the IAM policies. Uh, so basically you need to be very comfortable writing a resource policy, bucket policy, etc. Uh, so all right, let's go back to the AWS carrier site and take a look at a security job. Okay, so this is a security systems engineer job. Uh, so as you can see, experience deploying production systems, cloud formation, code deploy, Lambda, and AWS CLI. Okay, uh, proficient in Python, Ruby, and Bash. Uh, so again, Python comes up a lot. Uh, understands network fundamentals, familiar with software deployment process and strategies, and then blah, blah, blah. So as you can see, this also doesn't require uh, your regular traditional coding in Java, C++, all that stuff. And also when it says proficient in Python, Ruby and Bash, uh, you are not gonna create like the front end and back end and all that stuff. Uh, you need to code what's required for the security. Also, uh, we are hiring. Uh, so if you think what it takes to be an Amazonian, I'm gonna put the link to all the jobs at AWS uh, in the description section. I personally love working there uh, because all the other people are smarter than me and I love learning from them and every day I feel like I'm getting uh, better. Uh, also, you can bring your dog to any Amazon office. Okay, uh, then the next category <laughs> where I fall in and I, I love it uh, is architects. Uh, so their primary responsibilities are uh, design architectures in the cloud, work with executives and development teams to execute the company vision. Uh, so basically, you guys and girls are thinking, okay, what does this mean? What is this mambo jumbo? Uh, so you'll be surprised. Uh, some companies' uh, goal is to go to cloud as soon as possible, right? Um, some companies' goal is to uh, re-architect 50% of the projects and then go to cloud. Some companies' goal is to uh, move specific services to cloud native services and then migrate. Uh, so basically, uh, you have to work with executives and uh, other leads from the customer side or your project side, understand the requirements and then you have to execute it. And of course the bread and butter of architects, uh, other than doing the design architectures, you should be able to do proof of concepts and demo of services and architectures. So coding knowledge, uh, traditional coding, uh, should know one language, uh, maybe Python, to do PLCs and demos and you should be aware of cloud formation, IAM roles, uh, policies. So personally, uh, I have uh, worked a lot in Python, uh, so I have a decent uh, skill at that. And also I coded in Java before uh, for a little bit, uh, Spring Boot and all that stuff. And uh, in old school, I did COBOL and stuff. So there you go, you know my history now. Also, there are other roles uh, which doesn't need uh, traditional coding, so I'm going to put them here. However, I'm not going to go through all of this, right? Um, so data analytics, you need to know how to slice and dice data uh, using one of the data analytics tool. Uh, either you could do use Python uh, tool libraries and preferably like a visual tools like Tableau, QuickSight, etc. Product manager and network engineer, they are also viable options. Feel free to look up uh, the roles in your other companies, like other enterprise companies or startup companies, and check out uh, what kind of skills uh, they're looking for. So they will be in line with what we have discussed if they're cloud roles. So as you can see, uh, there are a lot of uh, good roles in cloud uh, that you can do without knowing hardcore coding. That's all I have today. All right, guys and girls, I will see you in the next video. Bye.